And if you're looking to add a little joy to your list of lifelong pursuits, there's no better guest than the woman joining us today, the intellectual powerhouse, Shabnam Moharabi. I want to talk to you today about joy. It is not a feeling like happiness or sadness that comes and goes. It radiates from inside your soul. There are the people who just exude it and are bouncing with joy, the tiggers of the world. And then there's the other end of the spectrum, the Eeyores. I used to be an Eeyore. And the time that that actually changed for me was with Soul Pancake. <laughs> so you've heard of it. I'm a journalist by training, and when I was in grad school, I wrote a thesis about the need for media to make conversations about spirituality and philosophy cooler. Fast forward seven years, and I hear on NPR this actor from The Office, Rain Wilson, and he's talking about this website he's launching called Soul Pancake. The mission of the website is to make spirituality and philosophy cool again. And I thought, oh my God, Rain Wilson stole my idea. They didn't expect that. I didn't expect that. I mean, hey. I love it. And then I decided, no, no, I'm going to find a way to work on this. Three months later, we launched Soul Pancake. She's done all the work, and then I get all the attention for what we've done at Soul Pancake. It's my pleasure, Rain. Aww. To... A woman who has hundreds of millions of content views to her name has collaborated with Oprah, the United Nations, Coca-Cola, and Google, just to name a few. The shift that I've seen in my life since that moment has been a markedly different approach to life. Joy and inspiration can really lead to change. You can talk about the difficulties and negative things that are happening in the world through a lens of hope and kindness, and that is incredibly powerful. Nobody wants to be told out of feelings of guilt that they need to make a change. People want to be moved in the heart first. Oh, I have, oh. Are you styling me, Rain? A little bit. Thanks for that. I'm gonna use that. Thanks. I'm going to get so academic on you guys. <laughs> like, just watch. Take us there. There was this amazing study that asked graduating college students, what do you look for when you're looking for your next job? And the number one and two reasons were money and location. For the first time this year, money fell to the number two spot. And the thing that took over as the number one spot is a sense of purpose or meaning in the company they work for. That is something that really drives that internal state of contentment, that state of joy that we all have inside of. Working is going to be what you spend the vast majority of your time on. So if you don't wake up in the morning excited to do what you're gonna do, it's not worth it. Failure is just, oh, that door didn't open. So let me go find another door that will. Suddenly there's no failure to fear. I was always so attached to the outcome, but what if it doesn't turn out exactly the way I wanted it to? I wasn't grateful for the great and amazing things and people I did have. So, Let's do it. Let's do 30 seconds right now. Okay. For stillness and quiet. And you guys Join all us. do this too. Join us. We have to feel connected. We are hardwired to feel connected. It's in seeking the things that bring us connection, I think that you can get that lasting, what I call joy.